Hey guys, Dean Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 D Lux. Last time's episode was pretty chaotic with some boss battles. That was a lot of fun though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. Picked up a flip phone. Which if you're slinging rocks, you know all about that. That enhances our connectivity, our signal can go even further. And now we have the ability to reach out all the way to South America. It's pretty amazing. The thought of this actually being possible, like I don't know what technology the Copites have, but the idea of this being able to be continents away and still pick up a signal from a spaceship, considering that they're about like the size of a quarter in height, is kind of amazing. So, Brittany has a bit of a hunch here that maybe what we're after isn't Captain Olimar after all. But Charlie reassures her that he and Alf will be there to play defense. Cynical as ever, Brittany does not buy that. So anyway, we do have the option to go to the Twilight River. However, we're not done in the Tropical Wilds yet. Obviously, we're only 50% of the way there with fruit, but we still have some more work that we can do so far. So back to the Tropical Wilds one last time for now. We're gonna kind of sequence break a little bit. And I don't mean that in the sense of like, doing something that the game doesn't really intend you to do. You can totally do this and it's, as far as I know, legitimate. But one of the things that we need to do is collect three fruit today. One of the fruit that we're gonna be collecting is going to be from a creature that is aquatic and a huge butt. So, which is funny because it is shaped like an onion. We love that. So anyway, you're gonna wanna head back towards the water. There's another fruit that we'll be getting eventually. That'll be an easy one to get. That'll be the easiest of the three that we're actually trying to get today. But our main target is that guy way over there across the pond. So let's go ahead and shift back to Brittany and to Charlie. You actually only need two captains for this one. So like I said, this is a little bit of a sequence break. Not really. But this one is a little... I would say tricky to pull off. Why is that? Because you're not really supposed to do it this way. The game has plenty of opportunities for you to explore the water. And in doing so, they expect you to play by those rules. However, at D-Mike Industries, sometimes we trailblaze and we do whatever we heckin' want. And that's what's gonna happen today. So first things first, go ahead and wrangle up your rock pigments. And we're just gonna take out this Wally Walk. Why? Because it's in the way, it's annoying, and I think it needs to uh, not be in our way. So we're gonna go ahead and rush it with our rock pigment. Oh, not ready for you yet, bud. So rock pigment are your pigment of choice, don't forget. Oops. All right, well that was, that's not ideal. All right, well that's just even more uh, motivation to murder. So we actually only really need the rock Pikmin for this part. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the wrong button. We're gonna whistle everybody off and I'm going to split up Charlie. Nope. I'm going to split up Charlie and Brittany. There we go. After 17 button presses, we are in the, we're in the zone. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull Brittany off to the side here. Not too far away because this boss, he's not really a boss, this creature, whatever you wanna call him, is very finicky. That's one of the things that makes this annoying. I don't need any additional Pikmin with Alf. Alf is actually going to be our sacrificial lamb. So I'm actually gonna pull him to the side here and hide all of our rock Pikmin. We don't really need that many. The rock Pikmin were mainly to kill the Wallywog, but that's okay. So first things first, we are gonna do battle with the Crystal Claw Crustacean here. One of the big things that you need to do is to make sure that this fight occurs on land. If it does not, then you are doing it wrong, which I have done before, and this is actually kind of tricky to pull off. So he's got a, quite a bit, a big amount of HP. You're gonna want him to aggro on Alf, you know, get Alf to get under his skin, if you know what I'm saying. 
And uh, yeah, just kind of get Alf to... Get Alf to kind of make him mad. Oh, that didn't go the way I wanted it to. Come back. Oof. Well, that went very poorly. That is not how well that was intended to do. Um, anyway, we'll try that one more time. This is going about as well as I expected it to, so I guess I would say no worries there. Maybe we'll switch it up. We'll let Brittany take the helm on this one. Yeah, you just got to try to lure the crab. You got, We want to get crabs, and we want to get them on land. We want to get sandy crabs. Actually, that did actually hit him, so that's nice. But he has to be on the land itself, because if you do the final blow and he's not on land, this is all for naught. It's kind of the big thing here. So we're trying to lure him. We want him to get real grumpy at us. Real grumpy. If we can pull off that attack, the one attack that's really good is when he gets his claw stuck in the ground, like we did, but yeah. So this is close. We really need to get him a little further back. A little further back. A little more. A little more. There we go. So this might work if we can get him mad at Brittany. All right, so hopefully that stays where I need it to. Please stay. Okay. And now this is Charlie's turn. So hopefully this works. I think that that should be okay as long as we don't mess it up here. Okay. So, hooray, success. We're not going to be able to get his corpse, unfortunately. Not that we really need it. But, uh, yeah. So that's a kind of a cheap way to get that lime. That's not really what you're supposed to do, but heck. I'll do whatever I want. This is D-Mike Industries, and uh, yeah, I'm a trailblazer. I do whatever I, I do whatever I please. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and sick our rock Pikmin after these spicy berries. We're gonna head back to home base. We don't really need that. We don't really need this bomb rock anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it. Put that in the corner. Nobody puts bomb rock in the corner except for me. So we'll tackle that. Other new fruit that's up there on that ledge, which some people might call it a vegetable, but that's okay. And in order to do that, we're going to need all of our captains. And let's just, for the sake of it, let's do 40 yellows. We'll just have our rock pikmin harvest those spicy berries today. Not that we really need spicy berries. It was pretty useful in the mere slug fight. I'll give credit to that. However, the yellows are going to be the ones that are the soup du jour for what we've got going on. Rock Pikmin can hang out. Now, you'll need yellows for this one, obviously, because they're the ones that can be thrown the furthest. As I throw a Rock Pikmin, that is great. So your yellows will take that down for you. All right. And we've got... Oh, it looks so sad being all dead and stuff. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry, not sorry. So first things first, you're going to want to throw your Pikmin and all of your captains, except for one, obviously, onto this pressure plate. Nope. I said onto the pressure plate. So any amount of pressure on said pressure plate will cause your Pikmin to raise this one up. So we're going to want to throw all of them. Not that we really need all of them, but hey, it's fun to do. And then we'll throw two of our captains up there. And then we'll have Charlie hit the road. Actually, I need, I think I need some. Well, we'll give Charlie some. I don't, well, yeah, let's split up the squad. Let's split up the squad just to be safe. Charlie will depart on his own, though. And we have to find that, those mushroom pressure plates. That's what we're looking for. We'll have to kind of bob and weave here with all these stupid spiders. That's what we're after right there. So we have to go way down the pressure plate from the other side. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope. Not today. Not today. I don't think so. All right. So I have to find the mushrooms that are over here. Here we go. I think we should be able to get to them maybe from in here. That looks pretty good. So you're going to want to throw your remaining yellows onto this side of the pressure plate to weigh it down. Okay, so that is not enough. Great job, me. 
if I would have done enough, then this would have been fine. So I think what I'm gonna wanna do is toss some of the yellows off of this pressure plate. Hey, there we go. Now we're using our noggin. All right, so we should be able to knock this down with some of our yellows. If I could lock onto it, that'd be great. We need 10 of them. Okay, we break that off. Break me off a piece of that. And we'll head into this tree trunk here. Very nice. So that's basically the pressure plate puzzle. Not too exciting. But there's a little more work to do. I'm gonna be careful here, because this area is kind of tricky to traverse. Oh, oh. Charlie is going through some bad news here. What's happening? Oh, okay. Well, this is this is pure chaos. I have no idea what's happening. I tried to send my Pikmin back, and apparently there's some kind of these guys are getting in my way. Let Charlie fight him. Yeah, get him, Charlie. Punch him with your oh boy. Actually, it worked out pretty well, because he doesn't have his stupid rock to throw out. Okay, he's got another one. Oh boy. Oh boy, everybody run. I hear some kind of like chaos happening. That's kind of one of the things about this game that makes it a little difficult is like, oh, it's probably these stupid grubs that are trying to get in the way. But yeah, we're going to have a ton of spicy spray by the time this is done. This episode is complete because uh, we're epic. And I'll use my rock Pikmin that are currently waiting to kill these grubs because they're in my business and I don't like it. Yeah, get them, boys. Yeah, that's right. Grub, more like scrub. Ha, got him. Anyway, we'll have them continue to harvest the spicy berries once that's applicable or not. Great. We'll switch here. All right, so this is kind of tricky to do. This tree trunk is not really super well scripted. So I recommend just kind of like throwing your Pikmin up there. We'll switch to to Brittany. We'll switch to Brittany. We'll switch to Brittany. Okay, great. Awesome. Thanks, game. All right, so we should be okay. So we got Alf. That's one of the things that's kind of annoying is... All right, well, some of them fell off. That's great. So we're going to want... Actually, I believe we're going to need everybody all hands on deck for this one. So I'll need Brittany to come with me. And we're going to... Fall down this tree trunk here. All right, everybody is good to go. Take out these mushrooms. Clear the way. That looks pretty good. All right, then we're gonna fall down here. All right, and one of these weird jelly slime things. We're gonna take it out. If you remember these, this is the uh, this is the thing that was what led to us getting rock Pikmin. So, make sure you've got at least a little squad of yellows with you. And you can pick up its corpse. You can pick up this little weird thing here. Looks like a berry of sorts. Very nice. All right, and then we'll head out. So that's that, and you take it out of the tree trunk, along with its corpse, that we get for being super cool. All right, that's pretty much that. This looks like, what is that? Is that a, one of the spicy berries? No, oh, that's a, that's a grub. Scrub grub. All right, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I know that this day isn't super long, but we might be able to get this Wally Wog. I think we're actually in need of reds the most, but you know, whatever, we got yellows here. As we incorrectly, all right, please stop drowning. Yeah, that's one of the things that's kind of tough about this, is that the hitbox for... That's going to be a forever problem for me, isn't it? You can't really charge your Pikmin in instances like this, where your surface area of being able to get stuff done is, like, very tight, unfortunately. So, that just doesn't really work. I'm going to probably spend the majority of the rest of this time, though, trying to 
pick up the pieces of who's left, because I don't quite remember where everybody went. Hopefully I didn't doom my Pikmin. Because we picked up a lot of fruit today. So, I'm feeling pretty heckin' good about our progress. Okay, so we just made a lap that was pointless. And here's our rock Pikmin on the other side. Should be good with them. I don't know. Don't really need any more spicy berries or anything like that. We've got six vials of it, so we replaced the two that we used from the Mirror Slug fight. Which, in reality, it didn't really feel like it did a whole ton for me. I know that this spicy spray is supposed to, like, double your speed and attack power, I believe. Now I could be completely wrong. I don't know. That sounds right, doesn't it? And, uh, yeah, I don't really feel like it helped. So maybe that's just me. Let's go ahead and pluck all these Pikmin. See if we've got any stragglers. Oop, as I throw them. It appears we are missing two. So we'll go and call them back using the Drake. I have no idea where they would be. And we can check out the co-pad. Where are they hanging out? Looks like they're over by the spicy spray bush. Or plant or whatever you want to call that. So let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, this is just kind of the wrap up of the Tropical Wilds. There aren't really any other fruit that you can get here. So, we know all about the lime, but the other three are brand new, which is very exciting. Although that third one technically came in like two parts. For some reason, this game is like obsessed with having some of the fruit break into halves. Or in the case of the watermelon, if we remember that one, it broke into like 17 pieces. Which, altogether, it would have taken 42 Pikmin to carry all the watermelon, which is kind of excessive, but, you know, that is the, the reward of a hard fought battle. Imagine if that was how like all battles were fought though. Like obviously our main quest in this game is to collect fruit, but imagine if that wasn't the case and like, we, uh, like in, in real life, you know, like you're like you're in like medieval times or something and you're doing this crazy hard fought battle against a warring nation, a warring clan of sorts. And you wind up being rewarded with fruit, explosive fruit. So here's one thing I actually wanted to bring up before this episode concludes. I've talked about this multiple times when I've been playing through this. I was confused about how this was already torn down and then heading back even further through this cave why there were other parts of this that I couldn't figure out. So this box and that sand castle that were torn down, I didn't put two and two together until I rewatched one of my earlier videos on accident when I was labeling something. This is where Alf landed in the tropical wilds. This box, that sand castle are the things that Alf initially had with the red Pikmin that he pushed out of the way. All right, all right, we don't have time for these shenanigans. Also, I love that Charlie's reaction to to there being dangerous to say cripes, for cripes sake. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna go ahead and end the day. I'd rather end it by countdown because I think it's more organic to an episode, but there isn't really anything else left for me to do here. We swept up all the remaining possible accessible fruit up into this part of the game. So we're just gonna go ahead and end the day and move on with our merry little inch tall lives. That felt pretty good. Nice clean wrap up episode. A unique way to approach an enemy that's not really meant to be attacked that way. That crystal crab, you can actually destroy its claw with the rock Pikmin. That makes sense, right? And then it won't be able to do that swipe attack, which did lead to a couple of our Pikmin getting chopped, but that's okay. All right. So we got four, nor f four, nor four new fruit, one of which is in halves, so doesn't quite count. But anyway, another zest bomb. This is a lime, if we remember. Limes are delicious. Key lime pie is a fantastic dessert. I'm also a big fan of Sprite, lemon lime soda pot. Please don't sue me. This is the scaly custard. For those of you who are Potential fans of having this on toast. This is the avocado. 
This is why we'll never figure out capitalism because all that avocado toast we just can't help but eat. I don't know if you could juice an avocado. Maybe you can. It'd be something else. This is one half of the stellar extrusion. This is a star fruit. Never actually had a star fruit, but they look pretty interesting. I've heard they're quite delicious. And they look fun, so yeah. It's a pretty accurate name. It is shaped like a star. You guys are all stars for watching this Let's Play, I know that. So thanks for all your continued support. Gets us another vial and a half, I believe. And then, last but not least, one of my favorite fruits, the Juicy Gaggle. This is a, just one, but usually you'll eat them by the handful. This is the Raspberry. Raspberry juice is delicious. If you're an adult, potentially a nice raspberry glass of wine. So we've got 31 juice files, one of which we'll consume today to bring us back down to 30. We are doing really, really well. That actually looks very nice. It's consistent. 10 rows, or three rows of 10. Feeling pretty good. Day 13, we are ahead of schedule. And we are an efficiency expert. How about that, everybody? It's pretty good. We lost three Pikmin today during that fight with that stupid crusty crab. Well, that's okay. So let's go ahead and check in with Brittany for her journal entry, and then we'll call it a day. Today is day 13 of our mission. We've gathered 29 pieces of fruit. This planet boasts a stunning variety of fruits, each one more delicious than the last. Some types are tart enough to pucker your face inside out, while others are sweet enough to pop your eyeballs right out of your head. These are highly unscientific descriptions of tastiness. Signed, Brittany. Brittany the botanist, giving us a very off the cuff appreciation for the different types of fruits we've gathered. And there's our save screen, everybody. So next time we'll begin our first day down in the Twilight River. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe and I'll see you next time. Bye.